What's up guys, Colin and Sean here from the Captain Rick Murphy YouTube channel. Today we got a little bit of surprise from AFCO. They sent us some goodies for our new adventures coming up. And uh, let's just dig right into it. We're gonna do some unboxing. So Sean, let's see what you got here. My uh, first product is this really nice hat. Let me tell you, this hat is called a tracker. And uh, first of all, the size, the fit, <laughs> Incredible. It looks like it's straight out of Jumanji. For those that don't know, I'm uh, one of the photographers for Captain Rick Murphy. And uh, I'm on the boat a lot, filming, we're running from place to place. And I've lost more hats than I'd care to admit on the boat. <laughs> um, this, we'll be sure to put an end to that. Super lightweight. I mean, I barely felt it on my head. Uh, it's also got this really nice breathable mesh in the back, which is, you know, fantastic uh, for when, you know, you get some, some water over the side or, you know, again, when you're running. But it's also great because on super hot days, as many of you know, it's really nice to just dunk the, dunk, dunk the hat in the water, put it on, let it cool off, and your whole day is like, you know, you feel re super refreshed. I would imagine that also as like a, as a camera guy, you know, just having not like a normal trucker hat where you have the bill up front, but just having that whole 360, uh, being able to see the monitor on your camera digitally, I'd imagine that's like pretty definitely. helpful with the sunlight on it and everything. It's uh, Definitely. Ha being, a, being able to just have my hat on, and I'm, I'm not usually uh, filming with the big body cameras. I'm usually using a smaller camera. Right. Um, but if I do have to take a picture real quick, I don't have to flip my hat over and, you know, put my camera up. This build, you know, it's pretty flexible, super flexible, right. but, it all, you know, rigid enough to where it'll hold its form. I, you know, highly recommend it. Can't wait to use it. What else do we have? Now we're getting into the clothing here. That's the Crosswind Performance shirt is what that is. I got one of those uh, on a previous order. Uh, it's not your typical uh, fishing performance shirt. It has a little bit more uh, polyester in it, but it is overall just a very comfortable shirt to wear casually. If it's, uh, you know, we're approaching the fall months, we might have a cool front come in. Uh, you know, we call it in Miami a cool front because it never actually gets that cold. But that's a perfect shirt for that because uh, the normal performance shirts that I, I'm wearing right here can get a little bit chilly when the cold front starts to roll in. But this is a little bit of a thicker material, but it's still lightweight. Sealed for freshness. Let's see what else is here. This is one of my favorite types of products because this is one that you can wear on the water to a banquet, which we do plenty of with CCA. Yep. Um, I actually got a couple of these for my dad. These are my work shirts, man. I come to work in these things all the time. <laughs> these are great work shirts. It's a good boating shirt too. Like if you're just going out to the sandbar or the beach or something and you're just bringing your friends out on a boat for a picnic or just oh, yeah. to do some grilling, it's got, it's all vented in the back with mesh. The breathability on these, on these tech shirts are It's so light. Incredible. It's yeah. so light. I think the gloves weigh more than this shirt. <laughs> one glove I think weighs as much as this shirt that's incredible that's really that's really cool Absolutely. nice color too and it comes in a variety of colors I think right. it comes in black sand the, the plaid and checkered ones too that you can get right yeah, a little bit more of like a design to your shirt the tropical button downs are definitely the way to go Colin I got I, I got plenty of those Colin's got plenty of those he I rocks got plenty those. Of to, to match my board shorts too <laughs> got some shorts it looks like we're, we're digging into some of the stuff that I got here. So this is my first time actually getting these. So I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to these. Uh, these are the, the original fishing shorts. And these were pretty much what AFCO developed from day one. In, in 1989, these were developed. Uh, you know, they're, they're coming back. The short shorts are coming back. I do a lot of kayaking. I will probably not wear these in the kayak just because they're too short. And, you know, there's just, you might see too much, but perfect for, <laughs> it's perfect for boating, uh, a good day at the beach. Um, I know a lot of people most likely won't wear these in the water, but I can tell you right now they dry off real quick. Uh, this material dries off real quick. And one thing that's really cool about uh, these as fishing shorts is you have seven pockets. And one of those pockets is actually uh, for your pliers. So this button will come off right here and you can actually secure your pliers right there. You can hook them onto the belt loop here and another thing, comfort-wise, it's an elastic waist uh, right here. So if you don't want to wear a belt, these are pretty stretchy. So you know, one size probably fits a few people in that size range. Uh, they could be more or less in, within that size range, and they'll, they'll fit you pretty comfortably. Uh, they prove the durability. There's a picture of these with literally two boats trying to pull these shorts apart, and it just doesn't happen. They're extremely durable. They're the ultimate fishing short, and that's why they, to this day, they're still selling them. And like I said, you heard it here first, we're bringing them back. And can I say, <laughs> can I say one more thing about AFCO's shorts? If you're fishing, you're gonna come back dirty. Oh yeah. 
And if you're wearing AFCO, your shorts are going to be clean. They got the AFGuard right after stain resistance. That, it's that wax AFGuard, coating that they put on a lot of their shorts. That's like, let it's, me tell you, man, it's definitely one of the highlights, I think, for any of AFCO's clothing is that it's very stain resistant. Right. But let's move on. So these are these are the board shorts and these are the, the sandbar pattern. And uh, they got let me just take them out here. They got Marlin on it. They got uh, pretty much. Hey, the they got you, bro. Yeah, they got me in there too <laughs> on, the, on the kayak there. But it's pretty much the, the old man in the sea design there. Um, I have yet to catch a marlin from my kayak or a sailfish for that matter, but it's yet. coming. It's coming. Yet. yet. So the reason I like the board shorts, uh, they might not be as effective for fishing as the as the original fishing shorts or the other fishing shorts that AFCO has, but I actually do like to wear these kayaking because they have that longer feel. They're just above, you know, I'm a taller guy, so mm -hmm. uh, I like to have the, the shorts go just above the knee, not below because they tend to get stuck if they go below. but. Um, these are really good for kayaking because you're obviously you're in a tighter space. Uh, you don't have the freedom to walk around on a deck like a boat. So mm -hmm. your your thighs and your calves are you know you're 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 rubbing on a lot of stuff. You're sitting down all day, ten hours, twelve hours a day. So you want to make sure you have comfort. Minimal chafe. You don't want you don't you don't <laughs> yeah you don't want those seven pockets. Right. Because then you have like the the velcro or the clips or the buttons that are just getting in the way of you sitting down. It's not. You know, kayak fishing is a whole other game. You're not you're not standing mm -hmm. up all day. You're sitting down. So you want to make sure you're comfortable sitting down. I imagine people wear board uh, board shorts for surfing, boogie boarding, and again, they they got the uh, the stain resistance, the aft guard stain resistance. And as these well. are also, if I'm not mistaken, pretty stretchy too, right? They have yeah. a significant amount of, of give. So when you're in the kayak, yeah. you, you know, you don't get and, hung uh, up. If you do have like, uh, if the stuff that goes in your pocket's waterproof, you got zippers right here to make sure everything's locked tight. Because I know. Uh, my phone has a waterproof case. It's got a lanyard, but to have triple protection, I like having a zipper right here to make sure it's secure in my pocket. Yeah, I think we got another <coughs> pair of shorts. I like shorts. Oh yeah, these are winners, man. Those are winners. Those are actually some of the newer ones that I came across. Again, not necessarily the the fishing shorts that we were talking about before. They're more like leisure, uh, hanging out on the boat, hanging out by the pool. Uh, they're not as long as the board shorts. They do have the mesh inside, so mm. you can control. You can con control. You can <laughs> free free yourself up a little bit down there. <laughs> Some but of us need that. Yeah, these are just like your standard bathing suit. It's really cool design on it. You got your you got your swordfish. <laughs> you got your tuna. You got your sailfish, and you got your dolphin. It's pretty much all the standard offshore species you're going to catch. They do have the elastic uh, waist, and inside they have lace, so you can uh, for extra security. And you also do have the uh, belt thing. So if you do want to wear them as a fishing shore, you can hook your pliers onto the belt. Um, so they, they definitely are meant for a different purpose, but you can certainly use them for a variety of different things. So overall, just really good shorts that I, I would recommend more for a leisure purpose, going to the beach, hanging out in the boat, and uh, just having a cookout or something like that. Yeah. Awesome, let's go into this box again. Oh, we got something a little heftier now. Oh boy, I just see this. This is the, the solitude uh, foul weather jacket, the rain jacket that they make. Now, uh, I know they make, AFCO makes a variety of different rain jackets. They make heavier ones, lighter ones. Uh, being from South Florida, I, I think it's really important that it can rain on even like the hottest day. Um, some people like to get wet. I don't, I don't really like to get wet out there. It's, it can be a little uncomfortable, but I like to have a really light jacket. And the reason being is because if, if, if you're in a, stuck in a storm, and you're out in the middle of the ocean and uh, the day started at 90 degrees and it starts raining, you don't want to be wearing a heavy jacket that's going to just make you really uncomfortable. You're going to be sweating beyond belief. Just, it's a really, really light jacket. It has pockets that you can keep uh, your phone dry in here, uh, your wallet, your keys, whatever you're holding on to. And uh, it's, uh, made of, uh, it's all made of nylon material, double coated. Has a zipper and Velcro for extra protection. And this is my go-to um, jacket to actually pair up with any of the, the bibs that AFCO makes. Anything inside? Is there any pockets or anything in there? Oh, it's a cool design. Yeah. Oh, that's it's awesome. It looks like a, like a chart. Oh, there is a little pocket in here. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and I think the, the, main, the main thing is, again, we have, we live in probably some of the hottest conditions. And especially now we're in the midst of uh, hurricane season right now and we have a lot of rain that comes through. It's like clockwork. Every, every day, three o'clock, mm -hmm. you know you're gonna get rain. 
And it's just a matter of uh, how bad it's going to be. But you always want to be prepared. I think being from South Florida, being from Miami, you want to have the lightest jacket possible. And that's why the, uh, the AFCO Solitude uh, 2.5 is, uh, is my go-to when it comes to that. And it's you know really easy. You can just back it up, roll it up, and stow it, and throw yeah, it wherever you want. Light. I mean, you can just make it so it just sticks in your hand like that, and then toss it aside just like that. Boom. Leave it up to a company like AFCO to design the perfect jacket for summer in South Florida. Yeah. I can't wait to try it out. If you're interested in anything, just look in the description below and check everything out. Otherwise, again, Sean? It's been a pleasure. Hopefully you'll be seeing us wear some of this awesome clothes in our future videos. Uh, so be sure to you know click that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you know when we upload all of our videos, and uh, see you out on the water.